everybody that's here for the 12, 30 calendar, cameras on, stay on mute. Cameras on, stay on mute. Cameras on, everybody from 12:30 calendar, stay on mute. Ms. Simmons, did you get proof of service in to Ms. Free? Yes, Your Honor, I sent it to the email address I provided. All right, so check it. If you're here for the 12:30, cameras on, stay on mute. Cameras on, stay on mute. I mean, everybody's camera on and stay on mute. Everybody, because Ms. Russell, I turned the camera off because it looks like you were laying down. We don't lay down. We don't smoke. We don't lay down. We don't take a bath, we don't take a shower, we don't take crap. We don't go to the bathroom. We act like we are in a courtroom. We don't drive, everybody. The Sims, once you place even in the chat, Ms. both Ms. Sims, y'all can both leave. One plus DE2118, can't follow instructions because I know I sent the message to the uh, waiting room to change your screen name. <laughs> Let's email the chat, Miss M. Junior mom can both leave. All right, everybody, when I call your name, take yourself off mute and answer here. Moto G Stylus 5G, sir, with the glasses and the follically challenged there with the bald head. You need to change your screen name. It is not Moto G Stylus 5G. Not what it is. If your mama named you that, I'll do the free name change for you. No, ma'am. I'm. Uh... Don't put your name, change your name. All right, I got Amanda Jane Rose. Here you're on. Jessica Fagan for Miss Rose. All right, Daniel William Rose Jr. I don't show service. Um, is he avoiding? He is avoiding. We actually had him. We have an affidavit of service from Charleston, South Carolina. We had him personally served in okay. Charleston. Okay. Have you, you filed the, the affidavit of service over yet? It's it's being filed. My paralegal actually just closed on the sale of her home, so she just got back to the office. So she is in the process of filing that right now. And I have emails with him and his attorney where they have notice of today's hearing. And. Ooh. Who's his attorney? I don't think an attorney has filed on his behalf. They have not. He says he's going to be hand, uh, hiring Randy Kessler, so I'm not sure who at Mr. Kessler's firm will actually be handling it, but everyone's on notice, and he has been personally served. Right, and everybody's here, so if, um, yeah, can you email a copy of that to Ms. Free, even though your peer is going to file it? And uh, go ahead, since Mr. last call for Mr. Daniel Rose. Daniel Rose. All right, Ms. Rose, if you raise your right hand for me. You swear for a testimony about to give is the truth, tell truth, nothing but the truth. I do, Your Honor. Down and dirty, Ms. Fagan, get my evidence so we can put it in place. All right, Ms. Rose, you are under oath. Could you please state how you know the defendant, Daniel Rose? I married him in 2001. We divorced in 2014. And we have three children. Next question. Do you and Mr. Rose have any minor children currently? We do. We have three children. All right. Has Mr. Rose ever threatened your life? He has. What did Mr. Rose threaten? To put a bullet between my eyes. And did you take this threat seriously? Absolutely. And were you in fear of him acting on this threat? I am. And what did you do in response to this threat to put a bullet between your eyes? I went to the police department and registered it. I went to the court at Fulton County and got a temporary protective order. I called you. I, you know, asked your advice. Like, um, I stayed out of my house with my children. We left right. did you, several so days. So you and the children, you and the children vacated the residence. Correct. And were any of your children aware that Mr. Rose had threatened to put a bullet between your eyes? Mm -hmm. They all are. All right. Was this the first time that Mr. Rose threatened you? No. Has he threatened to harm you in some way previously? Yes. He told me that I deserve whatever pain he can cause me. All righty. I am going to show you what has... Sorry, Judge Manning, it's out of order, but I'm going to show you what's been marked as plaintiff five. Share my screen. 
Ms. Rose, do you recognize this document, simple yes or no? I do. And is this a true and correct copy of a text message that you received from Mr. Rose? It is. So demanding, I move to admit plaintiffs five. Submitted. All right, Ms. Rose, could you quickly read the text message you sent to Mr. Rose on November 25th? Mm -hmm. I sent him a text that said hi with a wave. It was the day after Thanksgiving. So it has a turkey emoji. It says, I hope you're having a nice holiday. And how did Mr. Rose respond last Thanksgiving to your hope you're having a nice holiday with a turkey emoji? He quickly texted back within seconds. I fucking hate you. You are a miserable bitch. You deserve whatever pain I can send you, period. Another text, fuck you, bitch. You are a loser. I think that's a misprint. And, and then, then later in the day, he told you to call him back, correct? Hours later, after I, I, I can elaborate on what happened during that time. But yes, he did. All right. Has Mr. Rose ever physically laid his hands on you? Not yet. Has he ever used his physicality in a way that you felt was to threaten you or control you? Yes, every chance he gets, and I try not to give him opportunities to be near me, um, but we do have children together. Um, so he will do things like stand in doorways where I can't pass. He will put his entire top of his body in the window of my car where I have to warn him, please back up. I don't want to roll over your feet, but I'm now going to leave. Has he? Does he ever throw things when he's upset? Mm-hmm. He's thrown our dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that there is a real threat of family violence occurring in the future if you do not receive this protective order today? Yes, I know that it, it's a very immediate threat. I mean, he is demonstrating it, and he's a man who... Did she say through dogs? I'm sorry, Judge. We you repeat that? dogs? Oh, yes. He has thrown dogs. Anything else, Ms. Fagan? Um, does he have a history of substance abuse issues to your knowledge, Ms. Rose? He certainly does. Is there, um, do you have any personal knowledge that he has drank and then operated a motor vehicle with your minor children in the car? Yes, he does that. Boat, boats. Does he, have, does he have a history of mental health issues to your knowledge? And as soon as he, as I found out about that, I have tried not to let the children be with him in a vehicle because of the, my my concern that he's not making decisions that are safe for people, for him, for anybody. I'm sorry, okay. what was the question, Ms. Fagan? Does he have a history of mental health issues to your knowledge? He does, yes. Has he ever threatened suicide? Yes. Has he ever threatened to harm third parties? Yes. In the past six, six months, do you have any personal knowledge whether other third parties have obtained, called the police on Mr. Rose? A hundred percent, and there are police records for that, several. Does Mr. Rose own any weapons to your knowledge? I know he owns a closet, a room full of weapons. Yes, he has rifles, he has pistols, he has um, handguns. I don't know how to speak in that language, but every, every gun I've ever seen on any television show, he has them. Okay. And does he have a concealed carry permit to your knowledge? He does. He does. He's always had as long as I've known him. And is it your testimony today that family violence has occurred in the past? Yes. And is it your testimony today that family violence is very likely to occur in the future without this court order? It is. Yes. I'm, I'm very hopeful that the court will see my point here. Thank you. Um, are you asking in addition are you asking for temporary sole legal, like a no contact order with the children as well as with you? I am. Are you asking this court to have Mr. Rose undergo a drug and alcohol evaluation? Yes, and you and I have asked him that for weeks. I think it's two months now we've been asking him to do that for his safety. But as we for hear children. today, are you asking Judge Manning to order an alcohol abuse Absolutely. evaluation? Are you asking Judge Manning to order that Mr. Rose undergo some sort of batterer's intervention program, an anger yes. management course? Yes, please. 
Are you asking this court if it feels inclined to order that Mr. Rose continue to pay child support as court ordered? Yes, I'm their sole caregiver. Are you, mm -hmm. are you asking this court for an order that Mr. Rose would continue to pay for the children's school tuition and other expenses as he has agreed? I am. Are you asking this court to award you any attorney's fees pursuant to Georgia law? I am. I'm only here because of his actions. All right. And how much in attorney's fees do you estimate as of today you've incurred? $5,000. All right. Thank you, Judge. That's our case. If you have any other questions for Ms. Rose. Uh, no, Ms. Fagan, do you want to, do you have the uh, order in words so that you can do it and put any language specifically about the children? Uh, put their information on the uh, respondents identifying fact sheet and um, you can place the stuff about FBF, uh, drug and alcohol, eval, follow any recommendations. And if, if, does he live in South Carolina? He maintains a house both here in Fulton County and in South Carolina. So what house are the guns at? Both. Okay. So right now you can get the guns that he has. Could I get the gun that he has? Like where you're at? Y'all at the same house? No, no. We have been divorced okay, from there. Okay, I do not have access Okay, so Ms. Fagan, put in there that he has 24 hours to turn over his weapons to, is it see Atlanta he lives in? Uh-huh. Okay. He has 24 hours after getting this order that he turns in his weapon to his local police department and to his compliance date for his FBIP will also be a compliance date where he needs to show me an evidence receipt where he has turned over all his weapons. He will need to send that to the court to show that he has turned over all of his weapons. To Ms. Um, Free, do you want me to include her email address? Sure, yes. Yeah. You have you have the, an order in Word or does she need to send it to you? If she could send it to me, I would greatly appreciate it. I'll, she it's, can reply to the email with the affidavit that I just sent over. Ms. Free, do you mind sending her the... Uh, Family violence uh, word document so she can um, put all that stuff in there. Yes, I can do okay. that. Ms. Fagan, she says she just emailed you the affidavit. All right, thank you. And you want your five thousand under the uh, family violence statute? Yes, please, Judge. All right, if you want to do a separate order, you could do it a rolling Floyd order, or just give him thirty days to pay it. Um, if you want it as a Floyd order, do that. If he doesn't pay you by a certain date, you can uh, incarcerate him in Rice Street until he pays it. If you want to do that though. Let me know because we'll do a arrest order later if he doesn't pay it. Do you want a compliance date on him paying the fees? Yes, please. I would like a compliance date on that he has turned over the weapons, registered for the anger management course, et cetera. So can we get him on a compliance fee in 30 days? Our next compliance uh, will happen to fall uh, it's in two weeks. So the next one will be May the 2nd, I believe. Which one do you want, Ms. Fagan? May 2nd? I think that's, I think May 2nd is fine. I think this might give him the wake-up call that my client's hoping he gets. Okay. Compliance, okay. So you get him um, signing up for FIP, starting the, you know, the eval, and definitely um, proof of turning over the weapons. He needs to send you an evidence receipt showing them listed and whatever he's turned them over to. All his weapons. Thank you so much, Ms. Fagan. Ms. Rose, good to see you, Ms. Fagan. Y'all stay healthy and safe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Judge. Have a wonderful day.